quarantine food. I'm gonna teach you how to make some quick, easy depression meals. <laughs> Korean edition. <laughs> It's a fun little thing, but if you pull out, it's just Tupperware. The things you will need are an onion, yeah, Ooh. kimchi, thank you. You want some rice, of course, and because it's gonna be a bit more elite, we're gonna need some seaweed labors. Yeah, fun little dance. And, um, mystery meat, Shh, she says. Gonna wanna cut the onions, like so. This might be too much onions. Who knows? This is definitely too much. Unwrap the goods. You might briefly consider using your hands for this step, but don't do that. Use a ladle. Alright, see a little straggler? Take one as a treat, you know? You can have a little kimchi, just as a treat. You know, I think this is the case with a lot of cultures, but you know, Korean cooking is all about the feeling, and um, does this taste okay? Does this look right? I mean, these people, they put cabbage underground and said, hey, let's make this the symbol of our country, you know? So, anything goes. Now is time to cut the meat. It's gonna be difficult to take out and you're gonna think this is gross but it will eventually come out and make the most disgusting noise. Cut that baby right open and voila, your ingredients. Greetings loved ones, Greetings, love welcome one. to the other side of the kitchen. Now it's time to get frying. This is pretty self-explanatory. Get the, get the oil in, get the heat on, get the ingredients in. You want to go onions first. A little kimchi got in there, but it's all right. Let it brown. Now it's kimchi time. Get those guys in there. Get the meat in there. Ooh, look at it steam. Rice. And you can hold the rice bowl like Ariana Grande. Um, I forgot about this. Adds a little kick. It's just fermented bean paste. Super good. Expensive soy sauce. Because um, this is an elite depression meal. You're going to want to mix it all together. Oh, yep. And then you want to crumple up the kim. Pour that baby in there. And, uh, you know. Oh, yep. Sus I forgot how elite this meal actually was. And then once you kind of get the rice sticking to the pan you are ready to go oh, red, red, red. ready to go time for a taste test <laughs> um take too much but how is it delicious. delicious i'm just gonna use the same spatula because i'm the only one who's gonna eat this oh my gosh hi jen you've done it you've really done it how does that video go I can't believe you've done this. <laughs> I can't. And then, follow me over here. This is where we're gonna add the final garnish. You're gonna take some more seaweed, grab a little handful, and just rip them up. This just adds a, another dimension of flavor. Now that it's all ready, it's time to enjoy and eat. Maybe turn something on, why not? Treat yourself. While you're enjoying the meal, suddenly that sinking feeling comes in as you realize that um, nobody's around you. But hey, at least you've got your food. What up? Same sweater. Different day. This video is unofficially sponsored by Dylan's hoodie. I just had the craziest stress cry of my life, <laughs> which is gonna make this video so accurate because after I cleaned myself up, I was like, I want food. And this is the perfect, like, three minute meal. This is called Kerambot or egg rice, and it's what my dad used to have for breakfast literally every morning. The things you will need are egg and rice. I mean, it's in the name, right? 
soy sauce, sesame seed oil, spoon of each. Pop it in the microwave oven. Put it in for two minutes and 30 seconds. Voila. Have a beer while you wait. Oops. Briefly forget that you have to cover it with a plate because the egg explodes and pat yourself on the back for doing what you should have done all along. Take your plate off, use those Ariana Grande hoodie sleeves again, <laughs> mix it up, then you want to um, get some keem, some seaweed labor again. Same ordeal, chop it up, put it in there. You want kimchi as a side. Take it to eat. You're gonna go in the living room? Nope. You're gonna go straight to your room and have the warmth of your computer to, uh, to gently guide you through this meal experience. Alright, this one's gonna go by super quick. Grab a pot, grab your water, put the water in, turn the water on. Whoa, put the potato in, but you already made it yesterday, so you're gonna take out the one that you already made. Pop that baby in the oven for about uh, 30 seconds, I guess, and then you want to get the kimchi from the refrigerator once again. And there we have it, kimchi and sweet potato. Peel the potato. And because my camera died shortly after, I'm gonna let Photo Booth Hajin take it from here. Let me make this depression meal so good. You know, like, sweet potatoes are pretty, like, they're thick. You have like the heaviness of the sweet potato and the intricate with the kimchi. And it's such a good combo. Like, for real. Mm. How easy was that? Let's be real though. Everyone knows this is the real Korean depression meal. You must eat it <laughs> out of the pot. You must have some kimchi and you must eat it so quick and fast that you burn your tongue. You should also be watching something.